racketeering. Both companies say the claims have no merit. In a statement, Jewel writes they have launched an aggressive action plan to combat underage use. That plan included shutting down their Facebook and Instagram accounts and enhancing online age verification. In a statement, the company also goes on to say, we have never marketed to youth and do not want any non-nicotine users to try our products. Maggie Ruley, ABC News, New York. Dick's Sporting Goods could decide this week if it will stop selling guns altogether. The company removed firearms from 125 of its stores earlier this year to see what impact it would have on its overall business. At the time, Dick said that it would review the would be complete, uh, or the review would be complete by the end of August. Now, the company stopped selling military style rifles and high capacity magazines after last year's shooting at Parkland School. If you live in Florida, you're probably no stranger to gator sightings, but seeing one scale a fence may be a first. Take a look there. Here you go. Ooh, there it goes. He climbs over a fence at the Naval Air Station in Jacksonville. Makes it look pretty easy to do so. Ugh, very scary there. And now to probably the best video you're going to see all day. It's being called the Great Mattress Migration of 2019. It's right there in the middle of your screen. We're going to have to take the that thing down so you can see a little bit better there. The wind is just sweeping them off the ground after being set up for an outdoor movie night near Denver. Some people are running with them, trying to wrangle them up. And this went on for about 30 minutes. You know, you don't ever think about having to uh, tie down a mattress outside. You think about the, uh, the umbrellas. Right. We constantly talk about the umbrellas, but not mattresses. And then a gust of wind all of a sudden, and look where they end up. By in the, the pool. pool so good place to have them i guess all right so uh it is hot out there mm -hmm. uh pool location in the shade or maybe going to the ocean sounds like a good idea here's our live view from rehoboth beach delaware and a lot of folks are still enjoying it even though some school districts are still uh on uh, or i should say back in school here's our forecast next seven days for delmarva in the middle to upper 80s tomorrow and on thursday and then look at that finally relief from heat and humidity on the way for the upcoming weekend with temperatures in the 70s. Skylab 7 shows high clouds earlier this morning, but dry over as we look toward Key Bridge, Roslyn and Georgetown. A beautiful, beautiful start to our day. And now a few clouds are beginning to move on in and those clouds will eventually produce a few showers, even some thunderstorms. So stay weather alert moving through this afternoon. Could find some gusty winds and some heavier downpours. Already at 92 degrees at Reagan National Airport. Warrington now at 94, 92 in Call pepper dew point levels or the measure of moisture in the air well into the 70s about as soupy as you can get out there for this time of year already feels like close to 100 downtown DC probably even hotter than that go to K Street and Capitol Hill all of the concrete and the cars probably feels closer to 102 to 103 going out to lunch this afternoon dress for comfort we are in the lower 90s as we move through the afternoon Stormwatch 7 satellite and radar will likely begin to uh, brighten up as showers and thunder Thunderstorms will pop. It's impossible for us to determine exactly who's going to see it. However, as you move through the midday hours inside around the Capitol Beltway, could find some heavier downpours along with those gusty winds and may impact parts of the rush hour commute. And as you move through 7, 8 o'clock tonight, off toward the north and west of us, Western Maryland, Garrett, Allegheny, Washington counties, along with the panhandle of West Virginia, and then moving over toward the I 81 corridor, could see stronger storms. Even Evening rush hour commute looks like this lower 90s dropping down to the 80s sunset time now at 756 waking up tomorrow morning almost a repeat of what we had earlier today a little bit of patchy fog temperatures well into the 70s and as we head through the day tomorrow another sizzler feels like temperatures closer to 98 99 100 degrees we do have relief from heat and humidity it is on the way it's going to arrive here on Thursday part of a cold front that may trigger some stronger storms. Here's your seven day outlook from Stormwatch 7. Once that cold front moves on through, our temperatures go from the 90s into the 80s. Friday, a daytime high of 83 degrees. The weekend looks awesome with temperatures around 80 to 84 degrees. Lindsay. All right, Steve, thank you. We are following breaking news right now 
Our chopper is over the scene of a really bad crash. This is in Akakeek, Maryland. At least two people injured. And this is the information coming into our newsroom right now. So we've got Prince George's Fire Department on the scene. This is Berry Road in Manning Road East. And we are told that at least one of those people are trapped inside the vehicle. We're going to keep our eye on this and provide you updates as we get them in. We'll be right back. I finally did it. Popeye's new chicken sandwich. Mm. I've been trying to make the perfect chicken sandwich forever. Um, how does that make you feel? You know me. It had to be just right. Mm -hmm. Finding a bun as good mm. as my chicken was not easy. Mm. I mean, I did it, obviously. I think we've made a lot of progress here. I feel great. Good talk. Mmm. I'm proud of you. My new chicken sandwich is buttermilk battered and served on toasted brioche. Try it in spicy or classic. Love that chicken from Popeyes. Call the Aris and Rescue Rooter. This is an important announcement. Funeral costs are rising.